Recently, the announcement of a new animated series called Primos on the Disney Channel was made. However, this show has sparked a lot of controversy due to its highly exaggerated stereotypes of Latin American people. Many Latinos consider these stereotypes so offensive that they are classified as racist. On Twitter, numerous Latin Americans have expressed their outrage by posting memes and ridiculing Disney for creating such a stereotypical cartoon. Let me further explain what makes this show problematic. Although it has not been released yet, it is scheduled to premiere later this year, probably in October. Disney Channel has released a trailer featuring a character named Tati, who will experience adventures during her summer vacation with her cousins. It may seem harmless when described this way, but upon watching the trailer, several issues arise. Firstly, the city where the show takes place is named Terremoto Hits. While this may seem trivial, in countries like Mexico and Chile, where earthquakes are frequent and many homes of poor families are not built safely, resulting in collapses and loss of lives, Making jokes about it by naming the city in such a manner is extremely disrespectful. It would be equivalent to creating a cartoon set in the United States and naming the city 9-11. Another problematic detail is the presence of sneakers tied together and hanging from power lines in a scene from the show. Many Americans believe this to be an aesthetic or a representation of Latin American culture, where sneakers are tied on power lines. However, this is a romanticized notion, as in reality, Tying sneakers on power lines serves as a territorial gang symbol. Additionally, the protagonist's cousins have names like Nachichos or Nachos, and there is a cousin named Big Natural. This series portrays Latin America in a forced and stereotypical way, suggesting that the entire region is limited to Mexico. Another relevant point is the common stereotype in the entertainment industry, especially in movies set in Mexico where a yellowish filter is used to portray the environment as if it were a desert. This is a forced stereotype that does not reflect the reality of Latin America. Things are not all yellow around here. The creator of the show, Natasha, is not Latina, but an American who resides in Los Angeles. Natasha has previously worked on shows like Star vs. the Forces of Evil and The Addams Family. She achieved success, and Disney probably leveraging her reputation, asked her to create a series representing Latin America. However, being an uninformed American, she ended up developing this distorted view, believing that she was adequately representing the region. It is disappointing to see that Disney approved and promoted this project. It is disheartening to witness a company like Disney, which has produced such representative films as Encanto and Coco, now releasing something so problematic. I hope this series receives significant criticism and is cancelled by Disney, or that they make changes as soon as possible, such as altering the character names, the setting of the city, and eliminating these forced stereotypes. If they have already presented so many stereotypes in just a one-minute trailer, I can only imagine what the rest of the series might contain. Anyway, I would like to know your opinion on this matter. If you were already aware of this series, please share your thoughts. Forced stereotypes? Well, that was my reaction. Goodbye for now.